let's welcome on stage Golden Globe winner, the one who made us cry buckets at the Red Wedding, and will hopefully save the world in Citadel, the suave, the charming super spy, Mason Kane, Richard Madden. And along with him, the one who doesn't need any description, words, a multi-hyphenate force to reckon with. Honestly, the pride of India at every global stage that she sets foot on, playing the role of Nadia Singh, our very own Priyanka Chopra Jonas! so much for coming to India for this. Thank you. I believe we're going to sit down or we're going to chat with you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, sir. I'm assuming that... Oh, sir. Not so sure how that goes. Whoa. Hi, guys. Are you ready? Sorry, mobile will be down. Thank you very much. All right, welcome Richard. Welcome home, Priyanka. Thank you so much. Richard, because, you know, this is your first time in India, and also it's 2020. Shh, just let's give them a second to settle down. Aap log settle ho jaiye. Mobiles just ke hai niche kar le. Thoda sa niche kar lo, sir. Good? Sab khush? All right, let's begin. Bahut, bahut shukriya aapka. Since it's your first time in India, also because it's 2023, we're going to go with men first. You okay with that? All right. Thank you so much. What would you love to do in your first time in India? And have you been given any tips already by the homegrown superstar, Priyanka? I mean, there's lots of things I want to do. We've not had a chance to actually talk about it. I need oh. all your top tips and recommendations. Well, Richard has no time to do anything, first of all, I'll tell you. He has a really packed schedule. I'm at least trying to get him to have coconut from coconut water. Did I, I sent it to your room. Did you get it yet? God damn it. Somebody send this man a coconut. Um, but um, I don't think he has enough time, but there's so many amazing things to see, and, and he knows that. I really wanted to go to the national park. I was like, I'm going to go running, and it's like, no, there's lots of tigers. Don't Yeah, do I don't think you have time to go running in the, in the park. No, no. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for that. Priyanka, I mean, you need no introduction, but can I please do this because I love you, yeah? Super successful actor, producer, entrepreneur, author, okay, so all of this. But you also become the first South Asian woman to lead a network TV show in the US. And the rest, of course, is history, so congratulations on that. Yes, yes, yes! I'm gonna... Take a step back in time and ask you that moment when you said yes to Citadel. And was there a waiting period or a thinking period before saying that yes? Not for me. <laughs> I was very clear. This conversation started about five years ago. And um, it's taken that long because the show is extremely ambitious. And uh, there was a lot of development that happened. But... What was presented to me by Jen Salki, Jennifer Salki, who's the head of Amazon Studios, was she wanted to create an international global franchise, which is an original IP, 
which truly connects the world. So when we talk about diversity, Amazon is very much about diversity and true diversity is represented internationally, not just with having different skin tones, but right. hearing the way people speak, actually delving into culture. And this show has the incredible ability to span across every country, every continent. So I didn't even know the story and I was like, yep, doing it. <laughs> Fantastic. Congratulations. Richard, you've of course been part of many successful franchises, uh, many of our favorites actually. But why did this one set itself apart for you? What were those one or two things that really excited you about becoming Mason Kane? I think the thing that really set it apart from, I suppose, a bunch of other things that I've done is this concept of duality. Mm -hmm. um, not only do we play two characters each, but then having your memory wiped and creating this whole other person. Right. The idea of that and the, the concept of what parts of you are, are built into you as a human and what yes. bits are learned experience from traumatic childhoods, et cetera, and, and how can we play with that concept of our own humanity? That's what, what really drawed me in. Fantastic. Thank you for that. The Russo brothers, legends in their own right, right? When it comes to them, mega scale, this sort of cinematic storytelling that we could never imagine, and it's so high impact. So I'm going to take this to both of you. When you had David Whale as a showrunner and executive producer, who's also the creator of another Amazon original, which is The Hunters, uh, could you each tell us your experience working with these amazing, you know, creators? I mean, it's, what's so brilliant about working with people who have such a huge vision is it allows you as an actor to focus on what you're doing because you're not trying to piece together the whole big picture, these multi-country spanning shows, these intricate storylines. You're allowed to just focus on your job as an actor. So it gives you a real freedom because they have such a huge, large-scale vision. Correct, absolutely. Priyanka, for you? I think they're incredible. Um, working with Joe Anthony and the whole Agbo team, bringing in David, there was such a sense of collaboration that they had with us. They trusted the actors. Um, they asked us questions about, you know, our characters, what we thought our characters would do. So there was this incredible trust and faith, which we ab absolutely had in them because of, you know, their credibility, but they showed in us as well. So when you walk onto set, it was never a us and you thing. It was a all of us together creating the show. So we feel a sense of ownership and we feel a sense of belonging because it's ours, because we put in, they helped us, they encouraged us to protect our characters. They encouraged us to talk about our characters. And I think that made it a really wonderful work experience. I can imagine what a dream come true for anybody who would like to tell big stories, and that's you. Streaming, of course, has changed the way we look at stories, right, guys? I think this is an accepted fact now. Like, Prime Video has been at the forefront of that evolution. Do you think a story like Citadel with this kick-ass, if I may say that action, okay, I'm going off script here, grand scale, and at the same time, there's this emotional core, which I think is going to have that sort of connect with audiences all across the world. Do you think that that's why this makes it a perfect fit for Prime Video? I think so. I think Prime Video is um, tremendously global and they um, have a quest to make sure that they touch diversity across the world and they tell stories and hyper-specific stories from around the world and connect people just the way streaming has connected the world. So I think this show is not just a perfect fit for Prime, but I think it, it could only be done on Amazon Prime because they're the only streamer that connects the world in such a detailed way. Fantastic. Richard, would you like to add to that? All right. Could you tell us a little bit more about your characters? Because now we've seen Nadia and Mason. Okay, but what is surprising about them and what are the parts that you personally found intriguing? Now you start, last time. That's what. We're okay. doing this in terms, man. Um, what I find intriguing about them is, 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 is how, how damaged they must be in certain ways in order to choose this kind of life. And I think that's something we kind of got to explore with both of them. And, and hopefully we'll have more opportunity too, is delving into who they are. To be someone who is being someone else every day, and on top of that then playing another character all at once, these are really complicated, intricate humans who do kill people, who do bad things, who have questionable moral judgment. They're, um, they're complicated humans. Nice. Priyanka? 
Um, I think he really encapsulated what our characters do. I think um, Mason's character comes from a place of really trying to understand his past and who he is as a person today. And I think Nadia is who she is today and what she's going to be in the future. And they kind of are star-crossed. They kind of Correct. are drawn to each other no matter what happens. Um, and there's, you know, outside of all the flashy action and the, you know, big stunts and the explosion and all that cool stuff, the show has so much heart because their characters can't stop but be drawn to each other. You know, our characters, their characters, our characters. Um, and I think that just makes for like good TV, you know, like you, you invested in, in both Nadia and Mason. At least that's what I felt when I watched the whole show. So, you know, we know this from the trailer, of course, that there is, you know, these characters, they lose their memory and they're actually going to be different people now with different personalities, I'm assuming. At the same time, there's flashbacks. And then you just said, who they might be in the future. I mean, I'm sitting here, a complete non-actor, okay, complete layman question. How does one even prepare for a role where you have the past, the present, that you don't remember the past at all, and the future that might be? I'm intrigued. It's kind of like, it's like one of those scenes you see in a, in a police drama where they have pins in a chart and strings yes, between exactly. things. Yes. That, was our, that was our trailers and dressing rooms, is trying to work out how do we tie these, st these stories together? How do we make it as clear as possible so the audience can understand it? But behind the scenes, we are keeping each other in check, comparing notes, be it what character you know, what do we know, what do you know? So it's a complicated process, but in the end, it makes it very clear on screen, but yeah, we had a lot of very confusing days. Correct, like two personalities over these six episodes. Uh, at any point, did you go like, where are we now? Every day. Oh, really? Every day. Oh we God. had to come in every day and kind of not just check, like Richard said, check in with each other because our characters knew, I mean, we knew our characters really well. So we would say, do you have this information yes. yet? Did Nadia tell Mason this? Does Kyle know that? Um, and then we had to really confer with, you know, the directors and the filmmakers to be like, wait, we don't want to pull on a thread that we can't, you know, eventually answer. Hi. But this show is like a duck. You know, it looks beautiful. It's swimming beautifully, but underneath it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> That's I love what the show that. is. I love you that. look at it and you're like, wow, it looks great. You don't know <laughs> what all it took. Maybe we should say swan instead swan. of duck. <laughs> swan. Do swans swan. paddle fast? Yeah, they're like that. Hey, we're going to backstop. We're going to backstop that, all right? And we're going <laughs> to say swan now. Exactly. You know, the action, I've never seen anything like it. So the action is what they'll give us. But you are doing the action, guys. You're actually doing this. How physically demanding is something like this? It's incredibly physically demanding because, you know, it's not just doing it once. You're doing it for three days straight. Exactly. Um, but I think that's what really drew me to this was within these action sequences that are physically demanding, we try and integrate as much of the character moments as we can. It's not simply a gun show or a fight sequence. This is how these two characters interact physically, how they dance together. And we learn in each action sequence a little more about the two of them. Just like in the drama scenes, the stakes are so high because of the adrenaline of what's going on. You're kind of constantly in this kind of exciting place and that, that works both in the drama and action sequences. Totally. I mean, it's physically demanding. It's emotionally demanding. It, we shot it over a year and a half. We shot it during 2021, which was, you know, COVID time. It was right. just, it was, we invested a lot of ourselves in the show. Um, and that's why we're so excited to share it with the world, because I think I left a part of my spirit in it. <laughs> really a part of my soul is in Citadel. <laughs> you know, there is this epic action sequence or sequences but at the same time, as an Indian viewer, the one thing that I felt leapt out at me was the heart and the drama. So how does the story balance out those elements? I think that was intentional. It was extremely intentional. And that's what makes this show stand out is that it's not just flashy. It doesn't just have amazing action and it's like big sequences and explosions. But you actually invest in the characters that you're watching because... That's the main story, is what's happening between them. Everything else is a byproduct of the story. Richard, would you like to answer that? I, I completely agree. And everything else is an opportunity for us to connect in the story. So it, it, it was quite easy in a way to, to pull all the aspects of the characters into all these duality.
Priyanka, home question. Okay. Home question for all of us. How does this play out for an actor? Emoting in the middle of all the action. It's so, it's so much better than just doing action. Like you're sitting and you're hitting someone, punching someone. It's like we, especially in like the first sequence, for example, right. when the show opens, to be able to scream at each other, exchange dialogue in the middle of like fighting five bad guys, to find like a quiet moment, mm -hmm. to have a real conversation and then go back to like explosions. It was so exciting to be able to see and to be able to see and execute a scene that was created like that because it's not boring, you know, you're right. not just seeing like, okay, we've seen these amazing stunts before, you actually have interest and soul and you're invested, you know, right. and you're like, what is happening? And I think that just gives this show so much of an edge over all the other action spy world. Absolutely. Now, one of the most impressive sequences was that train sequence. So I'm going to get into this trailer now a little bit, Richard. Take us through the process of preparing and filming for that. That was kind of terrifying because this, this whole sequence happens in a restroom and obviously then into the train, but that restroom is a tiny space. So I was, I was terrified by it because I thought, how are we going to pull this off? How do you look cool? How do you do it properly? Correct. And then that just fed into working out what the character would do, and that's, that's what we did. How would he use every bit in the space? How do you use the sink in a fight? How do you use the handrail? Yeah. So it gave us all these opportunities to, to make the fight part of the storytelling of let's get to know who this man is because right. of what decisions he makes in that space. So that was exciting. And then we move into our part together, which is, okay, let's see how these two people dance together. And they've only just reconnected after who knows how long, and they're straight into this dancing sequence. I'm not even waiting for the 28th of April now, guys. I want to see this show, like, right now. But, okay, we'll have to wait and behave ourselves. There's a scene, okay, a shot, where you dodge a knife. And I looked at that, I was like, whoa, okay. So what does it take to actually do an action sequence choreography? What did you learn? Well, I had to really trust Richard that he won't stab my face <laughs> when he threw that knife. Can you imagine you're standing and you have co-actors throwing a knife at you? No, I'm joking, it was a CGI knife. He didn't really throw one on me. Suddenly it's a magic show. <laughs> but that's what I learned. Smoke and mirrors, movie magic, guys, that you can make anything happen. And um, movie magic is a real thing. Right. And that looks extremely authentic, but it was just Richard doing that. Nice. <laughs> You know, the Indian installment of Citadel, we spoke about it before you guys came on the stage, uh, stars two of your friends. Okay, that's Varun Dhawan and Samantha Ruth Prabhu. What advice would you give to your two fellow Indian spies who are part of the Citadel universe and in fact are shooting for the series as we speak? I don't think I can give them any advice. They're both such accomplished actors in their own way. It's, there's nothing I can say. Um, I met Varun recently at the NMACC event and... He was telling me how the shoot's going yeah. and how exciting it is. And there are some really cool threads that connect the other installments mm -hmm. to our installment. So we Correct. were talking about those. And you'll find out when you start watching the show how we're all connected to each other. Um, but it was, it's really fun and I can't wait to see that because I think DK and Raj, the filmmakers, are so amazing. They're so talented and that they're going to bring their own spin to the Indian installment. It's very exciting. Well, Priyanka said she had no advice, but Mason Kane, do you have any advice for spies shooting currently? Absolutely not. No, those <laughs> actors, there's such, a, there's such a wonderful amount of talent in the, the Indian version of our show. And each one is going to be different to the, the country it's in. So I think that's what's going to be beautiful is everyone finding their own version of it. I mean, we're still working ours out as we go. So I just hope they're having lots of fun doing it. Absolutely. Of course, we've spoken a lot about Citadel, but we've got to ask you guys questions about each other, if you're ready. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. This is fun. <laughs> this is the first time you guys have worked together. There's got to be lots there. So what was the one thing that you guys loved about working with each other? Richard, men first, please. Um, I love working with Priyanka every day because she keeps me present. We're both hugely like to prepare properly before we engage in something, but I can overthink things and over get in my head about it. And Priyanka was always great at bringing me right back into the room and being so present and, and allowing us to really play together. And I think that's kind of, in many ways, like the, the characters in the show, we balance each other out beautifully and, and, and bring out the best in each other. I couldn't ask for a better 
dancing partner. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, I think that deserves a round of applause. Thank you for that. Thank you. I'll tell you what I love about him is exactly the same thing, but the opposite. So there are things that I miss. <laughs> Yin and yang. Love it. So because our script is extremely, you know, it's many, many layers and there's a lot going on. I'll come on the set and take a certain approach and Richard will just tell me in my ear, you already know this information. And then I take a second approach. <laughs> Back stopping that again. <laughs> so we, we protect each other and we have each other's backs. And, and that's really wonderful to know that, you know, we're not trying to trip each other up. We're not trying to like point something bad out. We're, we're truly there to support each other because we know this show is about the two of us together. And the better we dance together, the better the show will look. And um, we've always protected each other. Beautiful. Teamwork, making the dream work. Absolutely. You know, honestly because I'm seeing you after so long, I would totally be selfish and sit and chat with you forever, Priyanka. But I have to be kind and generous to all our friends here. So I'm going to sit here, but I'm going to call upon somebody else to join us for media questions. And that is, of course, Gaurav. Would you join us on the stage, Gaurav? Thank you so much. Hi. So you know how it goes. Our friends in the audience are our friends from the media. We've already got a lineup of journalists and publications that they're from. I'm going to take their name and their publication name, and you'd please ask the question. First up, Paru from Zoom. Are you here? Hi, Paru. Hi, Paru. Uh, so my question is for Richard and Priyanka. If you both had to give just one reason to the audience why they must not miss Citadel, what would it be? I think, well, from my point of view, I think we're used to, to television and film being 80% drama, 20% action, or 80% action, 20% drama. And what we've tried to do is 100% of both. And for me, that's something I've not seen on television before or, or, or tried to do before. And for that one reason, I'd say, please tune in and watch it. Because when you really fully combine those two things, you end up getting something electric all the way through it, not just the peaks and troughs of action or the, the, the lows of the drama. It's a real combined, beautiful thing. And that was very intentional. Um, my one thing would be, once you start, I don't think you'll be able to stop. <laughs> and I love binge watching shows. And I think this is one of those shows that you're going to be like, oh, I need the next episode now. Um, so that's very exciting to me. Thank you for that. And thank you, Parul. Our next question is from Ajmal from Matrubhumi. Ajmal, are you here? Yes, you are. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi Richard. Hi, Priyanka. My question is both of you. What was the most challenging part for you while shooting this Citadel? Um, for me, the most challenging part, I think, was um, just being able to physically and emotionally keep up with the twists and turns of the show. And also that we shot it over a year and a half. Um, it was a long time. It physically required a lot from us. Um, and that was challenging, but I love to rise to challenges. Um, challenges make our jobs exciting, so that's why the show was very exciting. I think one of the most challenging things for me was trying to find the character traits that both of my characters share, and um, the nuances between how they behave, how they react to people, how they speak, and trying to see which of them are are learned things and which of them are, are built into you as a human. Thank you for that. Our next question is from Sanchita from Times Now. Sanchita, are you here? And there's a mic coming to you. Thank you. Um, hi, Richard. My question is to you. Um, you know? Hi. Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, Richard, uh, after having done uh, projects like GOT and, you know, there's an eternal uh, where you've worked with such an accomplished cast. Uh, as an actor, how actively do you seek projects that give you a chance to work with talent from, you know, across the globe? Um, I think that's a brilliant thing that can happen when you've got some great material. Sadly, as actors, we're not often part 
of the casting process. So you just trust in a director to make a, a beautiful cast. But I think um, when you have such great material, it's going to attract a really brilliant, diverse range of talent. And, uh, and this show has done that. And maybe I've just been very lucky to. I mean, you have worked with amazing actors. It's pretty cool. Thank you for that. Pooja Talwar, good times. Hi, Pooja. Over to you. Hi, Priyanka. Good to see you. How good have you, you been? I'm good. How are you? Very well. And you're no stranger to action. You pulled some serious punches, as we did see in Quantical. Comparisons are bound to happen, but since Citadel also has a lot of action, suspense, and thriller, how would you differentiate between the two projects, sir, given your experience and the action in this? Completely different characters, completely different jobs. Yes, we both hit people and, you know, maybe get mad a little bit and get angry. Um, but I think the, I, I don't think there is much similarities because the worlds are very different. Um, I think that I've deliberately, and when you watch the show, you tell me, I want a text from you, Pooja. But I've deliberately tried to make Nadia very different from characters that I've played prior. She has a quiet confidence about her. She doesn't need to showcase, you know, her badassery. It just comes naturally to her. So even like scenes and, and stuff, everything that I did comes from a place of internalization. So I hope you can see um, the, you know, the, the differences of the character. Plus the world is completely different. That was based in real time. This is, you know, a dystopian world. It's, it's just, I think they're very different, but I'll wait to hear from you. Thank you, Thank you, Pooja, for that question. Tanzana from Exchange for Media, are you here? Hi. Hi. Is it working? Go ahead, we can hear you. Yeah. Hi, Priyanka. Hi, Richard. Uh, really enjoyed the trailer and look forward to seeing the series. Uh, my question is for Gaurav. Uh, Citadel is one of the biggest series for Prime Video globally. Could you please help us understand the success of the sale? Yeah, thank you. I think Citadel is obviously one of our biggest projects ever. So, and like you evaluate and you look at metrics across the board, you look at number of people watching, you look at number of, you know, how much they watch and the fans. But what's unique about Citadel is it's part of a global franchise that we're building and we are, have interconnected stories and we have, they talked about, of course, the one we're talking about today. We have... Um, India one, we have an Italy one. It's going to be interesting to see how fans of each of these connect with the other stories and you build a legions of fans around the world, which is unique and, you know, I don't think it's happened before. So we're super excited about that. Thank you so much for that question. Yeah, I'm also very excited about that, Gaurav. Thank you for that. Abhimanyu from DNA, are you here? Hi. Hi, guys. Uh, really excited for the, uh, for the show. I uh, love the trailer. Richard, my question is to you. You're not new to long-form content. You were part of Game of Thrones, of course. Uh, and you've also done franchises in cinema, in Eternals. Do you think that with the audience seeing long-form shows year after year, season after season, they get a chance to connect with the characters more deeply and care for them more often because they're seeing them more often? And do you hope that it's the same for this character of yours as well, for Mason Kane? I definitely hope it's the same for this character. I think there's something about this long form, you know, recurring series format that gives us more time to tell a story. Um, it gives time for an audience to, to really get deeper into these characters and selfishly as an actor, it gives us more time to work out who they are and the better that we understand them, the better we can convey them and the deeper you get to know them. And, you know, especially time between seasons of filming, it gives you a chance to let the character progress, mature a little in your head, and you come back with fresh eyes to it and a whole new experience, which will only inform the performance. Thank you for that. Our next question is from Sana. Sana, are you here from Vikatan? Hi, Sana. Hi. Hi, Richard and Priyanka. Vanakam. Uh, my question is, what was the most fun memory on the set? Vanakam. My most fun memory on this set was when we wrapped it. <laughs> I was like, pack up, yay! <laughs> um, it was a very, you know, it demanding show. It demanded a lot. So I think I felt a sense of achievement once we had finished it, once we wrapped it. I, I remember what Richard did when we wrapped. He went and shaved his head. 
don't call me back for another shot oh <laughs> no more continuity for that's you that's a that's a fact <laughs> that that was fun for me too <laughs> thank you so much for that sana would you like to take that i think on the day it was very difficult but i look back there's a whole sequence which i can't talk too much about but it involves a submarine and it has such huge spectacle to it and i remember being there and it kind of feeling like you were at a theme park because you were completely immersed in such a humongous set and experience and that as an actor is one of those moments you you don't have to do a lot of acting because everything around you is so real correct and you're excited i like paused for a second when i walked in and i saw the set it's i'd never seen anything as huge and immersive it was interactive it was moving it was alive it was it was unbelievable. wet yeah oof yeah can't wait to watch it don't do this to us both of you <laughs> all right who's next kalpana from indian television hi kalpana thank you ma'am hi gaurav congratulations brilliant show brilliant trailer how important is india to the success of this global franchise hi kalpana india is super important we are we are kicking off the entire journey right here from india okay. it's our before all the other premieres happen this is the first place this is the first one first we one so that's that here. says how important it is i think you have to think about it you know the fact that um uh, besides the show and how interesting it is we have priyanka who's our indian global superstar and and everybody loves her here and we have richard who has a huge fan following for the work he's done here so that makes it super exciting for customers in india and then the fact that we have part of the interconnected universe that we have a uh, a uh, india leg to it that we talked about so all of this make india a super important part of the the entire citadel story so yeah thank you so much for that our next question is from webhavi rispoot from ndtv Uh, hi uh, richard this is actually i want to know from you at this stage of your career when you choose a project uh, what are the things that matter i mean what is the primary thing is it the director the story or the character that you are playing what is that one thing that's completely non negotiable i think for me what would be non negotiable now it's actually really true i can't work with people i don't like anymore so <laughs> it's really non-negotiable for me i have to admire look up to and like the people that i work with like the people that i'm surrounded with i've been doing this for a very long time and i want to be excited about going to work i want to be inspired about going to work and that's become non-negotiable for me so when i meet the people that i'm going to work with i take notes in a little pad <laughs> but i that truly is something that as i've evolved become very important to me um for me it's not so much about the just a, a director or a, a story or a writer it's it's kind of simple if i get to the end of the script and i want to go back to the start and read it again immediately then i've usually found my next project that's well thank you so much for that priyanka roy from the telegraph you're with us hi uh, hi everyone hi um hi gorov uh, my questions for you um you will be see uh, the different characters and actors of the various installments kind of crossover in the citadel universe and i know that you know this is um, it, you're still shooting it but do you have like a tentative release date or window for the indian uh, installment so i'm not giving any spoilers away first of all but uh, but i but the fact is this is a part of a larger universe and each of the stories uh a part of that so we'll have a lot of familial you know connected tissues between between the multiple editions of the show and and this is a big ambitious project and we are all super excited about the fact that you know this we start off with this story and how the other stories unfold in italy and india so there will be connected tissues and we uh, you have to just wait for that i can't give it away and of course we are filming the india edition and we don't have any announcements to make on that right now but for now what's this one well what full marks for trying yeah <laughs> All right our next question Smriti Sharma from Bollywood Life Hi Smriti Hi good evening everyone and uh, very congratulations to all of you uh, my question is for uh, Priyanka 
Uh, Priyanka, you have worked with the best of minds, the best of creators in both the Indian film industry and the West. So what are the differences and similarities that you have observed in your experience? Um, I think the similarities are that movies are movies. TV is TV. Wherever in the world you go, the language is the same. You know, you'll have a call sheet, you have a call time, you have an AD standing outside your trailer saying, you're late, come on, you have to know your lines, you know. It's so the madness is the same. I think the differences are cultural and that should not be touched or changed. I think the cultural differences are, um, there's a lot of paperwork in Hollywood, like there's stamping, there's signing when you finish shoe working and there's like your turnarounds and there's a lot of emailing and a lot of that that happens um, versus here we are a little bit more lax with time, you know, Indian stretchable time and all of that. Um, but there's, I think that the cultural differences are what I found different, but otherwise I think the medium of filmmaking is the same in both places. Thank you so much for that question. Lakshmi from First Post, are you with us? Hi. Hello, my question is for uh, you, Richard. So you're hugely popular in India. So if you're offered a role in Indian cinema, would you accept it? Absolutely. And what kind of role would you take? Absolutely. I mean, India makes more films than any other country in the world. Yeah. And has an incredible amount of talent that I would be honored to work with. In terms of what kind of movie, I would like to do something comedic. I think I've, we do so many serious things. It would be good to do something a bit more comic because I've not really done that. So maybe that will happen in the future. I mean, you just start thinking. I'm already thinking about it, guys. Don't worry. Hmm. Speaking of franchises. <laughs> There's a couple that come to mind. All right. Thank you so much for that. Our next question is Joita from in NDTV, uh, India TV. Hi, Joita. Are you here? Hi. India TV. India TV? <laughs> yes. Hi, Joita. How are you? Hi, Priyanka. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Lovely meeting you like this. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. So my question goes to you. Uh, Priyanka, recently uh, you appeared in an international podcast show where you spoke about, you know, uh, there was a time in your career where, uh, you know, you were put into a corner. So, noting that was the reason you sought uh, work in Hollywood. So, just wanted to know that why speaking about it now? Um, I think that first of all... Um, I'm, when I was on the podcast, um, I was asked about the journey of my life. And I spoke about, you know, when I was young, when I was 10, when I was 15, when I was 22, when I was 30, 40, whatever. Um, so I was talking about the truth of my journey. And I think now I was confident enough to talk about that phase of my life. I think now where I am, I was okay enough to kind of um, articulate what I felt. I think I had a very tumultuous relationship with what occurred, but I forgave. I moved on a long time ago, and then I made my peace with it. And um, I think that's why it was easy for me to talk about it in an open manner, um, you know, in a safe space. Beautiful. Thank you. Fair Thank enough. you. Jo Thank you so much, Joita. Thank you, Priyanka. Yeah, can we applaud that, please? Take a minute. Thank you, Priyanka. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Gaurav. It's been truly phenomenal. And I think that we are an extremely lucky audience to get you to talk to us today. The first in the world. So thank you for this honor. Yeah. Can I please at this point request Sushant to come back on stage?